All right, so um, we're looking at the scavenger hunt, and I'm going to do the more challenging one. If you have questions about the easier one, let me know, and I'll be glad to work that through, whatever question you have. Alex went out to dinner with her family. <clears throat> the cost of the meal came to $38.40. If they leave a 15% tip, what will be the total amount they have to pay? So I have my cost. Um, I have my percentage. I know that they're paying $38.40, right? That's 100%. I want to find 1% and they want to leave a 15% uh, tip and they want to know the total amount. So I'm going to add that because the tip is on top of the total cost. So I divide by 100. <coughs> and I'm going to have um, 0.3840. And then I'm going to multiply by 115. So in my calculator, I'm doing uh, 0.3840 times 115. And I get $44.16. Angela's favorite store is having a 20% off sale. Um, if she buys a sweater that normally costs 32 how much is she going to pay during the sale? So if I pay, if I'm saving, um, 32 um, if I'm saving 20%, I'm paying 80%. Because 100 minus 20 is 80. So I'm going to divide by 100. And then I'm going to multiply by 80. So 0.32 times 80. I get $25.60. Jeremy bought a new pair of jeans. The jeans regularly cost $30, but they are on sale for 10% off. So I'm going to start there. So, um, 100% is $30. If I'm saving 10, I'm paying 90. So I'm going to divide by 100. And I'm going to multiply by 90. So the 27 is my new 100% because there's a 6% sales tax. So now I have to make a second table. And they want to know what are they going to pay in total. So what is he going to pay all together for the jeans? So I'm adding the 6% sales tax to the cost of the jeans. So I'm going to divide by 100. And then I'm going to multiply by 106. So 0.27 times 106, and I get $28.62. Ethan buys the book for $18. The sales tax rate is 8%. How much will he pay in total? So I'm going to divide by 100, and then I'm going to multiply by 108. And I get $19.44. Um, after winning a basketball game, Game the team goes out for dinner to celebrate. If the total for the meal comes to 1950, and they want to leave an 18% tip, 
How much should they leave for the tip? They only want to know about the tip. They don't want to know about the total. So, I'm going to divide by 100. <clears throat> I'm going to multiply by 18. So my calculator, I'm putting 0 0.9850 times 18 gets $17.73. So that's the tip. Okay, if Jesse makes a 6% commission on every sale he makes, if he sold $8.75 worth of items this week, how much will he make in commission? So commission is a percentage of his total sales. So I just want to know about the 6%. So I'm dividing by 100. And I'm multiplying by 6. And he makes $52.50. While back to school shopping, Gretchen bought a binder for $4, two packs of pencils for $2.50 each, and a backpack for $19. Okay, so I'm going to start by adding this up. So 4 plus... Two packs of pencils for two fifty each, so that's five dollars plus nineteen dollars. So that's what twenty eight dollars. Yeah, twenty eight dollars. Okay, so if the sales tax rate is eight percent, how much did Gretchen pay all together? So I'm dividing by 100, and I'm multiplying by 108. So with sales tax, I'm always adding. And I get $30.24. Okay, Scott has a coupon for 10% off his meal. The meal cost $24.40 before the coupon. How much will it cost after the coupon? So if I save 10, I'm paying 90 because 100 minus 10 is 90. I'm dividing by 100. And then I'm multiplying by 90. So in my calculator, I'm doing 0 0.2450 times 90, and I get $22.05. Okay, the furniture store buys a couch wholesale for $325, the markup price by 30%. What will the new price be? Well, markup means that I'm increasing the price, right? So I've got $100 is $325, and I'm going to find 130%. So I'm dividing by 100 so... I'm going to multiply by 130. And I get 422.50. 
uh, Drake is buying a new video game that costs fifty dollars. The sales tax rate is seven twenty-five. How much will Drake pay in sales tax? they only want the sales tax. They don't want the total amount. So on my calculator I'm doing 0.5 times 7.5 and I get $3.75. Aaron works at a furniture store. He sells a table that normally costs $6.70, but is on sale for 15% off. So I'm going to start there. So if the customer saves 15%, they're paying 85%. So I'm dividing by 100. And I'm multiplying by 85. Okay, but that wasn't the end. It says if he makes an 8% commission on the sale price, how much will he make in commission? So this is my new 100%. I'm going to divide by 100. I'm not going to round until I get to the very end. I realize we're talking about money, but I'm not going to round until I get to the very end. Because I could truncate it too soon. Truncate means to shorten it too soon. And my answer is going to be off. So he's going to make $45.56. A TV that Ian wants to buy costs five dollars and ninety or five hundred and ninety dollars, but is currently on sale for thirty percent off. How much will he save by buying the TV during the sale? So they just want to know the savings. They don't want to know how much will he pay. So I'm dividing by 100, multiplying by 30. Wow, he's going to save $177. All right, Noah and his dad went out for lunch. Their meal cost $32. The sales tax rate, oh, rate is... 8%. Noah's dad left a 15% tip on the $32. How much did he pay in total? Okay, so this is in two separate steps. So I'm going to find how much did he pay in tax. And we're going to multiply by 108. OK, 
Okay, so that's how much he paid in tax. Okay, and then he left a tip on the $32. So it should be $34.56 plus $4.80. Yes. Okay, the day after Christmas. Uh, a store wanted to get rid of their Christmas trees, so they discounted them all by 25%. Two weeks later, they saw some, so they marked them down again by 40%. If the Christmas tree was originally 120, what is the cost after the second discount? So we're going to start with the first discount. So the first one, if you save 25, you're paying 75. So I'm dividing by 100. I'm multiplying by 75. <coughs> I get 90. So then 90 becomes my new original. And it said they marked them down again by 40%. So that means that I'm paying 60% now. So I'm dividing by 100. I'm multiplying by 60. And I get $54. Lindsay got her haircut. The cost of a haircut is $16. She wants to tip her hairstylist 20%. How much should she leave for the tip? This is just the tip, not the overall cost. So I don't have to subtract from anything because I'm just trying to find the tip. <clears throat> and I get $3.20. <clears throat> Last one, Maggie bought a book, a $14 book and a $4 magazine. The store was having a sale on their books only. This one was tricky because I did this one last year. So she paid $24 in books. Okay, all the books were marked down 20%. So... I divide by 100, I'm multiplying by 80. I get $19.20. Then I have to add in the magazine. $23.20 but then there's a tax rate of 10% 
So I'm dividing by 100. Then I'm multiplying by 110 because they want to know what's the final cost going to be after the, all the discounts and the tax. $25.52. All right, we miss you at school. Um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.